हरि ओम इन दिस आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव लेक्चर सीरीज दिस इज द सेकेंड टॉक आई वुड लाइक टू गिव बिफोर दैट लेट मी स्टार्ट विथ अ इन्वोकेशन ओम सहना सह नौ भुनक्त सह वीर वह तेजस्वी नवधीतमस्तु मद्विषा वह ओ शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओ फ्रेंड्स लास्ट टाइम आई स्पोक वॉज ऑन वाक् सूक्त फ्रॉम द ऋग्वेद I thought a similar sukta I can choose for this talk as well. So this is a Medha sukta. This Medha sukta is in the Rigveda Khila sukta of Bhaskala Shaka, but more famous it has nine mantras Rigveda Khila. But more famous is the one having only six mantras, and it belongs to the Krishna Yajurveda Taittiriya Aranyaka. Medha sukta. so what is medha and what are these mantras what do they really mean is there any spiritual significance you know so we'll just try to explore all these possibilities the pathana of this which i learned in chinmay international foundation is from the naradiya parampara naradiya shiksha i will try to recite i may not be so correct okay but there are ample videos uh, available freely on youtube and i would like to request you to listen to k suresh ganapathi is uh, to ganapathi is reciting medha sukta it's wonderful so just click on google uh, medha sukta and you will find the ganapathi it's you know reciting that om मेधा देवी जुषमाण आगा विश्वाची भद्रा सुमन से मनाया जुष्टा नुदमा दुरुक्ता आन बृहत्वेम विदथे सुवीरा आह दिस इज जस्ट मै अटेम्प्ट एट रिसाइटिंग इट सो वॉट इज मेधा मेधा यू मे स्प्लिट द वर्ड मे मई मई मे ओके लॉकेटिव एंड धा दैट इज टू प्लेस समथिंग विच इज प्लेस्ड इन मी सो दिस इज मेधा धीर धारणावती मेधा दैट इज वॉट द लेक्सिकल मीनिंग गोज सो इट इज धारणा शक्ति दिस इज धारणा शक्ति बेसिकली द ग्रंथ धारणा शक्ति or any retention power for that matter so this is the first level the retention power there are two types of powers one is grasping power akalana shakti and the other is retention power dharana shakti so medha gives you the dharana shakti that is the first level after doing the dharana after placing it in our mind we have to ponder over it so the second level gives you the manana shakti by hearting what you have learned so far meditating on it pondering over it contemplating on it so that is the second level of medha and the third level is medha is the root medhate nama sangachhate anaya iti we go to the highest level with the help of this medha so this is the supreme principle the highest sublime principle tatva gets revealed to us through the power of intellect that is called medha so there are these three ascending levels of the meaning of medha number 1 retention power dharana number 2 manana shakti and the third is मेधते संगच्छते अनया इति नाउ दैट इज इन जनरल व्हाट मेधा मींस नाउ जस्ट नाउ आई रिसाइटेड द वर्ड्स अकॉर्डिंग टू नारदीय शिक्षा परंपरा सो व्हाट इज द अन्वय ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट मंत्र मेधा देवी जुषमाणा न आगात सो मेधा देवी विश्वाची भद्रा सुमनस्य माना एक्सेट्रा न आगात 
let that medha a gat gangatav is to go and a iti arva agarthe a gat let her come a towards me so a gat nama a gachatu this is the let lakara the vedic lakara the panchamo lakara vede eva so medha devi naha a gat may that medha devi come to us that is the anvaya that is the main sentence in the mantra now how is this medha there are so many adjectives visheshanas of that of the word medha jushamana jusha pritav jushamana priyamana because she is matrusvarupini she is full of love full of compassion to all jushamana vishvachi सर्वेद्य अवगम्यमाना। शी नोज एवरी थिंग बिकॉज शी रिसाइड्स इन ऑल एंड देर फॉर नथिंग इज अन्नोन टू हर एंड देर फॉर सर्वेद्य वॉट एवर थिंग्स आर फिट टू बी नोन वेद्य अवगम्यमाना। शी नोज ऑल दैट विश्वाची। भद्रा भद्रम कल्याणम शुभम शिवकरम भद्रा कल्याण हेतु शी इज द वन हु ब्रिंग्स ऑस्पीशियनेस इन टू अवर लाइफ्स सुमनस्य माना सु शोभनम मनस सो स अनुग्रह मनोयुक्ता सुमनस्य माना सानुग्रह मनोयुक्ता काइंड हार्टेड हु वांट्स टू ब्लेस ऑल ऑफ अस सानुग्रह मनोयुक्ता मे शी मैनिफेस्ट इन अस लेट हर कम टू मी मे शी एप्रोच अस दैट मीन्स मे शी रिवील हर बूजम टू अस रिवील हर ट्रू नेचर टू अस एंड देन देर इज अनदर सेंटेन्स बृहद वदेम विदथे सुवीरा वदेम इज विधिर्लिंग ऑफ वद May we proclaim? May we speak? Vayam vadeem. Kutra vadeem vidathe. Vidatha is a sabha. Vidatha is a samiti in the sacrificial assembly in the sacrificial hall. Brhad vadeem. Vedadi mahavakyani. May we be able to speak, proclaim, recite the Vedas with your blessings. त्वया जुष्टा ब्लेस्ड बै यू अनुग्रहीत बै यू मे वी बी एबल टू प्रोक्लेम एंड रिसाइट लाउडली द वेदर्स इन इन द पब्लिक असेंब्लीज इन द यज्ञशालाज बृहद्वेम सुवीरा हव आर वी सुवीरा ब्रह्मवर्चसादि गुण युक्ता with your blessings only o mother we will be equipped with brahma varchas as well as sushthu veeraha shobhana shaurya yukta veeriya yukta putraadi yuktaha vayam so once you are there to bless us we will be naturally blessed with all brave sons and such as we are let us proclaim the mahavakyas all the vedas in ucharava in the public places tvaya jushtaha tvaya anugrihitaha so tvaya jushtaha suviraha santaha vayam vidathe brihat vadema why he is referring to this because tvad agamana purvam before you arrived to us before you approached us how were we वयम दुरुक्ता नुदमाना आस्म दुष्टवाक्यादमाना आस्म वयम इदानीम त्वया अनुग्रहीता विदथे बृहत वदेम बिफोर यू ब्लेस्ड अस बिफोर यू केम टू अस यु नो एंड बिफोर यू एंटर्ड अवर माइंड्स एंड हार्ट्स वी वेर यु नो फाइंडिंग फॉल्स विद द पीपल 
we always used to find faults we always used to you know utter dushta vakya but now since you have come we would speak the good things we would speak only the vedas we would speak the mahavakyas and all that is noble because tvaya jushta because we are blessed by you okay and the second mantra now tvaya jushta rishir bhavati devi tvaya brahma gata shri rutatvaya a त्वया जुष्टं चित्रं बिंदते वसुसानो जुषस्व द्रविणो न मेधे सो दिस इज द सेकंड मंत्र हे देवी हे मेधा देवी त्वया देयर आर थ्री फोर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्मॉल स्मॉल सेंटेंसेस वी विल ब्रेक द मंत्र इनटू द स्मॉल सेगमेंट्स फॉर द इजीयर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द मंत्र हे देवी हे मेधा देवी त्वया जुष्टः ऋषिः भवति ऋषि ही कहा दर्शनात् ऋषि ही त्वया जुष्टः त्वया अनुग्रहीतः नरः पुरुषः मंत्रद्रष्टा ऋषिर भवति वंस ब्लेस्ड बाय यू अ पर्सन कैन बिकम अ सीयर ही कैन बिकम अ मंत्रद्रष्टा सम्यक् दर्शी भवेत् त्वया जुष्ट ऋषिर भवति देवी त्वया जुष्टः ब्रह्मा भवति त्वया जुष्टः ब्लेस्ड बाय यू वन कैन बिकम ब्रह्मा द क्रिएटर ही कैन क्रिएट मेनी गुड रुचास मेनी गुड सूक्तस ब्रह्मा भवति अगेन त्वया जुष्टः दिस इज टू बी टेकन यू नो कंस्ट्रूड विद एवरी अदर सेंटेंस त्वया जुष्टः आगत श्री ही भवति प्राप्त संपत भवति आगता श्री ही यस्मिन यत्र यम वा ओके सो वन वंस यू ब्लेस अस श्री ऐश्वर्य वुड ऑल्सो ब्लेस अस सो त्वया जुष्टः आगत श्री ही अपि भवति उतापि आगत श्री ही भवति प्राप्त संपत भवति त्वया जुष्टः चित्रं बिंदते वसु त्वया जुष्टः चित्रं वसु बिंदते चित्रं वसु वेरीड टाइप ऑफ वेल्थ ऐश्वर्य एंड दैट कुड बी रिलेटेड टू द अष्ट सिद्धीज इट कुड बी रिलेटेड टू द दैवी संपत व्हिच इज गिवन इन द भगवत गीता राइट इन द 16 चैप्टर सो त्वया जुष्टः चित्रं बिंदते वसु दैट यू सानो जुषमाणा दैट यू ओ मेधा देवी ब्लेस अस विथ वेल्थ एंड दिस वेल्थ वुड कंप्राइज ऑफ द ह्यूमन वेल्थ द कैटल द मटीरियल वेल्थ द स्पिरिचुअल वेल्थ द इंटलेक्चुअल वेल्थ एंड द मिस्टिक वेल्थ ऑफ द सिद्धीज एज वेल सो त्वया जुष्ट ऋषिर्भवती देवी त्वया ब्रह्मा गतश्री ऋतत्वया आ त्वया जुष्टं चित्रं बिंदते वसुसानो जुषस्व द्रविणो न मेधे सो यू ब्लेस अस विद द्रविण ओ मेधे ओ मेधा देवी यू ब्लेस अस विथ वेल्थ एंड दैट वेल्थ इज नॉट जस्ट एम्पिरिकल वेल्थ और द मटीरियल वेल्थ एंड देर फर चित्रम वसु दिस वर्ड has been used there <coughs> by the rishi so that it includes along with the material wealth the spiritual as well as the mystic wealth okay medham indro dadatu medham devi saraswati medham me ashvina ubhava dattam pushkarasraja who can give this medha to me मेधाम इंद्रो ददातु इंद्रो मे मेधाम ददातु और दधातु बोथ पाठर्स आर देर मेधाम मे इंद्रो ददातु मेधाम देवी सरस्वती ददातु उभौ अश्विना हाउ आर दे पुष्करस्रजा मेधाम आ धत्ताम बिकॉज दिस इज अ ड्यूएल नंबर नॉट आ दधातु बट आ धत्ताम 
So once Indra gives us Medha, who is Indra basically? Indra is one, Indhati, Paramaishwariya Rupena, Bhavati, Iti Indra. One who is equipped with, one who possesses different types of glories, greatest, glorious, most king, glorious, most god is Indra. Indhate Tejo Vihi Iti Indra. Indhana is the word which we use, you know, for the fuel, Indhana. Indhate, he is shining, he is resplendent, splendid because of his own glory. Tejo Vihi Indhate Iti Indra. One more etymology, there are, you know, if you read any Indra Sukta for that matter from the Rugveda, especially uh, the Sajanasa Sukta, uh, 212, the Gritsamada Mandala, 12th Sukta, Sayana gives you 10, 12 derivations, etymologies of the word Indra, Iramdranati, Iti, etc., Indave, Ramate, uh, so many are there. I am not going into all that details because the Emphasis is on Medha, not on Indra. Who gives this Medha to us? Indra. One more etymology I will give and stop there for the etymology. Idam Pashyati Iti Indraha. He is called Indriyanam Raja. Who is Indriyanam Raja? It is the mind, Manas. Ekadasham cha Manaha. The Dashendriya who controls. Without whose supervision, the indriyas cannot work. One who governs all these indriyas is the mind, manas. And therefore, indra is nothing but mind. So let that mind give me that dharana shakti. Indro me medham dadatu. So may my mind Leaving aside the sankalpa vikalpatmika buddhi, leaving aside the uha poha vritti, leaving aside the chanchalatva guna, there are nine qualities of mind which are enumerated, leaving aside all that, let my mind render to me, grant me this dharana shakti. So, medham me indro dadatu. Medham Devi Saraswati. So that you know when you say Indraha Medham Dadatu, that gives you that stability and securedness, you know, security of the Dharana Shakti. Otherwise, mind is Chanchala. Chanchalam Himana Krishna Pramati Valavadradam. But if Indra, the Raja of Indriyas, the mind incarnate, if he takes over, you know, the, the governance of this, then everything will be stable because dharana has to be the stability. Dharana speaks of the stability of mind. So, Indraha me medham dadatu. Medham Devi Saraswati. Who is Saraswati? Saraswati is the goddess of learning. Saraha Asyaha Iti. Iti Saraswati, one who resides in the pond is Saraswati. And what is this Saraha? Ashta Dasha Vidyasthanani Saraha. She lives, she stays, she swims in the Sara, in the pond, in the form of 18 branches of learning. Ashta Dasha Vidyasthanani. And what are these? Ashtadasha Vidyasthanani, the basic question of IKS, Indian knowledge systems, the four Vedas, six Vedangas, four Upangas and four Upavedas. Add all these, four Vedas, Rugya Jussama Atharva Veda, six Vedangas, Shikshakalpa Vyakarana Nirukta Chanda Jyotisha, four Upangas, these are the Puranam, Dharma Shastra, Dharma Shastra, Purana Etihasam, Dharma Shastra, Mimausa, Nyaya Vistaraha. These are the four Upanga, they make Chaturdasha Vidyasthanani. And then Vishnu Purana adds four more. These are the four Upavedas Ayurveda for the Rugveda, Dhanurveda for the Yajurveda, 
गांधर्ववेद और नाट्यवेद फॉर द सामवेद एंड स्थापत्य एंड अर्थशास्त्र फॉर अथर्ववेद सो अष्टादश स्थानानी एव सरा तानि स्थानानी अस्याह इति सरस्वती सरस्वती इज द अधिष्ठात्री द गाइडिंग गवर्निंग डीटी ऑफ ऑल दीज लोअर्स और ब्रांचेस ऑफ लर्निंग अदरवाइज देर इज वन मोर इटिमोलॉजी सरह गद्यपद्य रूपेण संसरती सरस्वती वग्देवता शी फ्लोज वेरी नियरली कंटिन्युअसली इन द फॉर्म ऑफ प्रोज एंड पोएट्री इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वैखरी वाणी परा पश्य मध्यमा वैखरी वी रिफर टू दैट इन द वाक् सूक्त एज वेल सो गद्यपद्य रूपेण संसरती वग्देवता सरस्वती सो मे शी ब्लेस विथ दिस मेधा इट सरस्वती साक्षात यू नो वग्देवता ब्लेसिस देन देर विल बी नो लैकुना देर वोट बी एनी लूप होल्स इन दैट धारणा शक्ति सो मे इंद्र ब्लेस to retain what we have learned me vagdevata saraswati bless us to retain what we have known and now there are two more ashwina ubha medham mai adhattam pushkaras raja both the ashvinas ashvina they are the twins in the in the rigveda ashvini kumarau they are called the srau nasatyau See, interesting thing is, uh, sometimes it is said that Satya and Dasra are the two people who are Deva Vaidya, Deva Bhishaj. Okay, they are the doctors, the physicians of the gods, and Satya is the person who is the deity of the medicine and healing, whereas Dasra is talked about as a deity of surgery and rejuvenation. so in that there is a slight demarcation one brother you know he specializes specializes in the medicine medical part of that medicinal part of that you know the therapeutics and the other dasra is a surgeon he uh, takes care of the rejuvenation chavanam yuvanam chakar you know the aging chavana they made taruna again yuvanam according to some these are the twilight stars two ashvinas are the twilight stars according to some they are the shwasa and nishwasa the prana and the apana the shwasa mala you know and whosoever they are they are called nasatya in the rigveda there are two meanings of this nasatya one is na plus asatya they are ever truthful they never lie they are never you know belying any anything so they are ever truthful na asatya making two negatives making a very strong affirmation na satya and another etymology given by yaska in his nirukta is nasa tya they are born from the nostrils they are born from the nostrils this gate uh, takes us back to the story of uh, surya and saranyu and saranyu you know she got fed up with the fed up means she could not tolerate the brightness of the luster of the sun and therefore she left his uh, home uh, creating her own dummy called uh, replica called chaya or savarna and went to her father, father's house when sun learned you know there is a story there also how he learned it but we are not going into details so when sun learned that uh, she is you know no more with me and who i am having samsara with is her replica he went in search of her he he identified her you know that she is grazing in the form of a mare ashvi you know in the kuru jangal pradesh he also took the form of a stallion a horse and mated with her and she thinking her he thinking surya to be parapurusha she discarded his semen through the nostrils and from that to ashwini kumaras are born and therefore nasatya she discarded the semen through her nostrils from where the ashwini kumara were born and therefore they are called nasatya 
A very distinguishing epithet of Nasatya is they are Pushkarasrach. Pushkarasrak. Srak is a mala, a garland. They are said to be wearing the garland of lotuses. There are so many deities who may be worshipped with lotus, but the Pushkarasrak is given in the Rugveda as a distinguishing epithet of Ashwina. So let them also, you know, bless me. So to have wisdom, what all we need is stable mind, therefore Indra, stable intellect, therefore Vagdevi, and physical fitness, therefore the Ashwini Kumara, the Deva Bhishach, they have the role to play here. Unless, you know, we have a physically strong, stout and stable body without any ailments, we can't work on the intellectual and spiritual level and therefore manchanga but that manchanga has to be with a stable healthy hygienic body and for that ashwini kumar also are invoked that they may uh, give this medha to me so indra for stable mind saraswati for stability of intellect and ashwina for good health good body Okay. Apsara suchuya, apsara suchaya, medha, gandharve suchayan manaha, devi medham saraswati, sama am medha, surabhir jushatam. Pardon me for my uh, recitation, I am not uh, expert in this. Sa medha, where all she stays. Sa medha, apsara suvartate. <coughs> Sacha medha gandharveshu manaha bhavati. Sacha medha saraswati daivim surabhihi bhavati. Sa medha maam jushatam. Ya medha apsara suvartate. Ya medha gandharveshu manarupena vartate. Ya cha saraswati devi surabhihi bhavati. Sa medha maam jushatam. May that medha bless me. Maam Jushatam Sa Medha. That is the final uh, finite sentence statement. How is she one who manifests in Apsu in the waters? One who manifests in Apsara. What is Apsara? Apsu Saranti Iti Apsara. Apsu Saranti, Apsu Sravanti, one who glides in waters, on the surface of the water, that is called Apsara. Apsu nirmathanat utpannaha ityapi Apsara. When the water was churned, the Kshira Sagara Manthana it refers to, when the milky ocean was churned, that time Apsara, <coughs> Apsaras were created. And therefore, Apsara could have these two meanings. Apsu saranti sravanti iti apsu nirmathyamanat utpannava iti apsarasaha. So, apsara suchayamedha kshirasagara manthanat utpanna spashta drishtaha. That means deep tarupena, they are the sparks of light which are seen. Apyante punyakridbhihi, another derivation of Apsara is, they could be obtained only by the meritorious people, only by the Punyakrit people. And Apsara basically gives you the Saundarya Tattva, the manifestation of beauty that is Apsara. So when we have that retention power, that should not be a dry retention power, it should come embellished with all its charm, beautiful and therefore apsara suchayamedha gandharve suchayan manaha who is gandharva? normally apsara and gandharva they are regarded as a semi uh, god and de, uh, semi human and demi god species above the human species but little below the deva yoni okay 
that is Gandharva Apsara Yoni. Apsaras are good dancers and Gandharvas are good singers. So they make, uh, they are quite complementary to each other. So Gandharvas are Ganani Dharayanti iti Gandharvaha. Gam Dharayanti. Gam could be from Gai Gayati Dhatu or Swayam Gaan Dharayanti iti. Go also means or Ga also means Vani. Swayam Gam Dharayanti iti Gandharvaha. They could be, you know, the custodians of the Sukumara Kalaha, the fine arts, or those who are, you know, uh, who are in the possession of uh, Vani in the form of Sangeeta. Okay. So, or Gam Vedavacham Dharayanti Ityapi Gandharvaha, Gavam Rashminam Dhataraha Api Gandharvaha, and uh, Gavopi, Rashmayopi Gavaha Uchyante, as Yaska says, Go has different, 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 different meanings. In the Nighantu, if you say, Go could be a synonym of Prithvi, Go could be a synonym of Rashmi. In the Yaska Nirukta, if you see in the first chapter itself, there are so many meanings of Go. Go is a cow, Go is a Ved, Go is a Bhumi, Gauhukshmajma, Iti eka vimshati prithivi nama dehyani. That's how the entire nighantu starts. So, gavam rashmi nam dharta. So, gandharva could be, you know, the, the rays of the sun. Okay, that is also gandharva. Gandham, another uh, very unique uh, and very different uh, derivation. Gandham nama sangeeta vadyadi janitam pramodam. What is Gandha? Gandha is fragrance. Gandha is the happiness, Pramoda, which is Janita, born of Sangeeta Vadyadi, born of emerging from the instruments and Sangeeta, etc. From the vocal music or instrumental music, whatever joy we derive, that is also called, that is Gandha and Gandham Dharayanti iti Gandharvaha. Various etymologies to explain the word Gandharva. So it is the joy of the fine arts, the beauty of the fine arts from Apsaras, the joy of the fine arts from the Gandharvas, that also we want to retain. It is not only the dry Shastrartha, and not only the Veda, but the Sukumara Kala, which is an inevitable part of Indian culture and Indian ethos. So this could be, you know, in general could be spoken of as Gandharveshu Chayanmanaha, Sacha Saraswati Devi and it is called Surabhihi Bhavati. When Apsaras and Gandharvas bless us with that Medha, she is all, I mean Saraswati has already blessed us with that Medha, then this Medha in us, it prospers, it grows and it becomes fragrant. So this is the fragrance of divine knowledge which is spoken of in this mantra of Medha Sukta. We come to the fifth mantra. Amam Surabhir Vishwarupa Hiranya Varana Jagati Jagamya Urjasvati Payasapin Vamana Samam Medha Suprati Kajushantam Ajushantam Medha Mam Medha Medha Devi Mam Ajushantam May she bless us coming near us Ah Aiti Aravagarthe Kidrushi Medha Surabhihi Vishwarupa Hiranyavarana Urjasvati Payasa Pinvamana and Supratika. So many adjectives. Kidrushi Medha Mam Ajushantam Supratika Medha Surabhihi Medha Vishwarupa Medha etc. etc. A agatya, having come near me. Agamana is nearing, approaching, okay. Surabhihi, punya gandha. Her gandha, you know, you need not see 
a, a very fully bloomed lotus, the Gandha itself, you know, it pervades the entire place and through that you come to know. You need not even see that. So Punya Gandha, it is famous, the Saraswati is called Surabhi in the above mantra. So it is world famous, okay, Khyata Kirta, Punya Gandha. Then she is Vishwarupa. Vishwarupa, Vishwameva Asyaha Rupam Iti Vishwarupa. All things are manifestations of this Medha alone. In the Vak Sukta also we learn that I am there, Purutra, everywhere, you know, and Vivacha and uh, Sangamani Jananam, so many epithets Vag also uses. So, Vishwameva Yasyaha Rupam Sa Vishwarupa, Vishwarupa Sarva Vastu Nirupana Kushala, she is capable of knowing all. All things know her and she knows all the things and all the beings. She is Hiranyavarana. Hiranyavarana, she is shining like gold. As gold is shining, resplendent, similarly she is shining. And gold is one such metal which you know, Though it is burnt, though it is given different forms, it doesn't lose its splendor. And therefore, Achyuta Varana. Medha is Hiranya Varana, Achyuta Varana, because she is Akshara Rupa, Vedakshara Rupa, Vedasvarupa Tvat, Prakashamanasvarupa. Like what? Like Suvarana. Prakashamana Swarupa. Another thing is, she is, you know, there are three meanings of Hiranyavarana. She is uh, uh, like Hiranyavarana, shining like gold. Then Veda Swarupa, Prakashamana Swarupa, number two. And third, Hiranya, Hiranyam Kasmat, Hitam Cha Ramaniyam Cha Bhavati, Iti Hiranyam, says Yaska in Nirukta. And therefore, this Medha, because she is of the nature of both her knowledge, Hita Ramani Yasvabhava. So many different different meanings. How beautifully the paraphrase could be done. Hita Ramani Yasvabhava. So Hiranyavarana is not just, you know, golden complexioned or golden colored. There are some hidden symbolism in that symbolic meanings in that and therefore I started with you know only six mantras there are the superficial mantra artha and if we go deep there are there is a symbolism in it you know hidden dormant in it so sarvatra hitaramani yasvabhavatvena vartamana sa and then jagati jagamya Sarvatra Jagati Jagamya, she is easily available. Avichinna Swarupena Vartamana Sarvatra Iti Jagati Jagamya. Then she is Urjaswati. Why she is Jagati Jagamya? Another thing is, you know, she is consciousness itself. She is Chit Swarupa, consciousness itself. And therefore, there is an unbroken chain of knowledge segments like the Bauddhas with Jnana Vadins they say there is Santana Nityata Nyaya this moment I learn this next moment I learn this and still I remember what I learned in the last moment because there is an Avichinna Smriti Santana Rupatva so this is uh, this is what that consciousness plays its game then Urjasvati she is Urja, Shakti Swarupa, Shakti Samrita, and this is that Shakti which manifests itself as in the Lalita Sahasranama, Ichha Shakti, Kriya Shakti, Jnana Shakti. So Shakti Traya Swarupini. So Urja Swati, three types of energy, you know, Medha is nothing but the three types of energy and the Triveni entangled in one 
ಸುಷುಮ್ನ ಕುಂಡಲಿನಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಮೃತೇನ ಮಾತೃವತ್ ಪೋಷ ಪೋಷಯಮಾಣ ಶೀ ಈಸ್ ದ ವನ್ ಹೂ ನರಿಶಿಸ್ ಅಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಮೃತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಡ್ ಪಯಸ ಪಿನ್ವಮಾನ ಶೀ ಈಸ್ ದ ವನ್ ಹೂ ನರಿಶಿಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಪಿನ್ವಮಾನ ನರಿಶಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಹರ್ ಪಯಸ್ ಪಯಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಪಯಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಮೃತ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಸೊ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಮೃತೇನ ಮಾತೃವತ್ ಯಥಾ ಮಾತಾ ಬಾಲಂ ಪಯಸ ಏನೋ ಪೋಷಯತಿ ತಥೈವ ಮೇಧಾದೇವಿ ನಃ ಪೋಷಯತು ಕೀದೃಶೇನ ಪಯಸ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಮೃತೇನ ಪಯಸ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಹರ್ ನರಿಷಸ್ ಆಲ್ ವಿತ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಸುಪ್ರತೀಕ ಇಸ್ ಸುಂದರ ಲಕ್ಷಣಯುಕ್ತ normally there are in the lakshana granthas in the shakuna shastras there are so many lakshanas given and for a very noble character there are shodasha lakshana and therefore shodasha lakshana yukta purusha shodasha lakshana yukta nari they are highly commendable so this medha is shodasha lakshana yukta so supratika so that type of medha samam medha ajushantam kidrushi medha surabhihi vishwarupa hiranyavarana jagati jagamya urjasvati payasa pinvamana supratika seven great adorable adjectives added to medha so covetable this medha is let her ah agatya let her embrace me let her take me into her fold you know so may that medha come to us so that is the fifth mantra and then we come to the sixth and the last mantra mai medha mai praja mai agni stejo dadhatu mai medha mai praja mai indra indriyam dadhatu mai medha mai praja mai suryo bhrajo dadhatu so the three deities are invoked here and invoked to bless us you know with different qualities their own characteristic distinguishing qualities they should uh, equip us with so this is like a prayer now you know in the five mantras we have already learned about learned a lot about this medha who is the dhi who is the dharana shakti and all uh, and now we just pray this is the last mantra praying may that agni give me medha uh, may that agni give me medha praja and tejas may that indra give me medha praja and indriya may that surya give me medha praja and bhraj now what does this tej bhraj and indriya mean let us see that so agni agni it indicates the bhuloka see tisro vai devataha prithvi sthaniyah ಅಂತರಿಕ್ಷಸ್ಥಾನೀಯಾಹ ದ್ಯೂಸ್ಥಾನೀಯಾಶ್ಚ ಯಾಸ್ಕ ಅಗೇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೀಟೀಸ್ ಟಾಕ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಋಗ್ವೇದ ಆನ್ ದ ಪೃಥ್ವಿ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟರೇನ್ ದ ಟೆರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಫಾಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಫಾಯರ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಫಾಯರ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಕಿಂಡಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗಾರ್ಹಪತ್ಯ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಕಿಂಡಲ್ ಟು ಕುಕ್ ಅವರ್ ಫುಡ್ which we kindle in the yajna shala that is also terrestrial fire the vadavanala the forest fire that is also terrestrial and the apamna path you know apamna path becomes the bhuvar loka the mid region fire that is the vidyut agni and then there is a fire tatva the agni tatva is in the so in the dyu loka and that is called surya these this is the normal division of the vaidik devatas done by yaska tisro vai devata here there is some difference because agni is also talked about and surya is also talked about and indra is the mid region devata basically 
Agni talks about the Bhuloka, Indra represents the Bhuvarloka and Surya represents the Swarloka, okay, the Dhuloka. So the three Lokas are represented by these three different different deities which we are praying to. So Agni indicates the Bhuloka which is the Sthula Sharira, the Sthula Rupa and it is you know like Rupa Matte Jaha. So we can see Agni. Uh, Ag uh, Indra represents the Bhuvar Loka. It represents, it indicates our Sukshma Sharira and which you know which has Sparsha only and no Rupa we cannot see that. And Surya represents the Swarloka and indicates the Karana Sharira. So the three Lokas in fact they are indicative of a person's three avasthas or three shariras, sharira trayam, sthula, sukshma, karana. Now the sthula, sukshma, karana, sharira are talked about in the akara, ukara and makara of omkara as well. Ultimately everything leads you to the same thing. Take the pranavopasana of omkara. Take the Medha Sukta, take the way, uh, the, the Vak Sukta, take anything. Ultimately, it leads you to the Nada, Nada Brahma, which is Arupa, which is Avyakta. So, ultimately, it leads us to the Advaita principle. Okay, so that is our philosophy. Anyhow, so Agni, let him give us along with Medha and Praja. Let him give us, let him grant us Tejas. Teja is Varchas, Brahma Varchas. You know, uh, and therefore a person who is uh, well versed in all the Vedas and he is shining with his innate luster, inward luster, he is called Agni. Agnirvai Manavakaha. You know, Daidipyamana Batu is called Agni. He is Sakshat Agni. So let that Agni give me Tejas, Varchas, you know. It is Avichinna Teja, okay. And uh, then Indra, let Indra give me Indriya. Indriya, we already have all these Indriyas. Let him give the potential of every Indriya. Let him grant us the Shakti of Indriyas. Merely having eyes, ears, hands, feet, you know, the karma indriyas and the jnana indriyas. Merely having these organs doesn't help. We require the strength, the shakti of the indriyas. Otherwise, it's of no use. We have hands, but the hands don't work. We have feet, but we can't walk. We have eyes, but we can't see. The vision power is not there. So, Indra Indriyam Dadhatu, may Indra as the God of all the Indriyas, as the God, the governing deity of all the Indriyas, that is the Manas, you know, Manas. So, let him give us the Shakti of all the Indriyas. Mai Medha, Mai Praja, Mai Indra Indriyam Dadhatu. And Mai Medha, Mai Praja, Mai Suryo, Brajo, Dadhatu. Let Surya give me Braj. What is Braj? Braj is also luster. Teja is also luster. Braj is also luster. What is the difference? Braj also means luster. But Braj comes from the root Bharj. Bharjana, Brajaha. And Bharj is to fry. To roast completely, you know, when you roast up completely uh, a thing, or you you roast it in the in the in the sand, you know, like the peanuts are roasted in the in the sand, or they are fried in the oil, you know, then everything, you know, whatever is like uh, any dross element is there, that all gets burnt. Braj. In Marathi, we call it a Taun Sulakun Nigane. Taun Sulakun Nigane, that is Braj, that is Bharjana, getting roasted completely. So, whatever moisture is there of 
ahanta and mamata all that also gets burnt you know so roasting or frying together you know so that is bhraj so bharjanat bhrajah and that also gives you that becomes so hot you know tej you can at least tolerate but bhraj you cannot even tolerate it becomes unbearable luster and that is equivalent to shatru bhayankar or shatru utsadana kar pratap let surya give us that luster which is capable of vanquishing all the enemies now when medha he is giving these are not the enemies who are present in front of us opposite to us you know with the armor and the shield and the weapons these are the enemies of bad thoughts so may surya when he grant us this medha let him also grant the bhraj that frying capacity that roasting capacity that no negativity can enter our mind so all the you know the asuri sampat should get burnt and only the daivi sampat which is the dharana shakti which is the uh, the that shakti which ultimately leads us to the supreme sublime highest principle only that should remain and therefore there is a prayer to agni to indra and to surya okay so again now agni can give you the laukika pradnya the practical knowledge because he is the adhishthata of bhuloka indra can give you the subtle knowledge because he indicates the sukshma sharira so on the emotional level also we should be capable of retaining everything not only on the physical level on the emotional level as well and uh, this is you know like uh, uh, indra talks about the sukshma sharira and therefore this is seeing beyond our indriyas seeing beyond our indriyas so this is something like antachakshu being introvert and seeing in words you know pratyakshat yat param tad drashtum kshamaha vayam bhavamaha kshamaha vayam bhavamaha tadrisham tadrisham indriyam indraha me dadhatu and surya would give you that bharjana that is the highest swaswarupa that is the highest type of nature Uh, not only on the physical level not only on the sukshma level but even on the karana level and if you talk about karana sharira it is you know like uh, uh, pindi bhuta madnyanam isn't it makara represents what pindi bhuta madnyanam that is the mool avidya so may surya grant us that power which will burn eradicate our moola avidya so moola avidya nivarakam bhrajah surya maam dadhatu so let him give us the highest knowledge let him give us that highest knowledge so that my perennial anadi anirvachani avidya will also get uprooted and i will be equipped with the satchit ananda maya brahma jnana vidyayam ritam asnute avidyayam rityum tirtva vidyayam ritam asnute says the upanishad so this avidya we have to get across and for that surya should help us so this is not only you know like tej indriya and bhraj only on the physical emotive uh, or psychological and spiritual level but it is going beyond that because on the spiritual level the moola vidya gets annihilated totally and then alone then and then alone a person is capable of understanding the 
द थर्ड लेवल ऑफ मेधा मेधते संगच्छते अनया वेर संगच्छते टू हुम शी युनाइट्स अस विथ हुम दैट ब्रह्मन दैट सुप्रीम and therefore this medha sukta you know it is advised that the batus should recite it every day the brahmacharis should recite it every day every student should recite it every day so lofty meaning such a lofty message such a noble thought you know and not only on this level it is not just gaining knowledge that you can get through different mean different uh, means and nowadays google swami you just click the knowledge is available to you on a click but what about wisdom that wisdom these deities will grant us agni indra and surya so this is a prayer uh, to to the deities you know they are representative of all other deities on the three levels and therefore i feel this medha sukta is the most wonderful sukta and one should recite it for sharpening our intellect sharpening our brains i hope uh, you you would enjoy this uh, this talk uh, let me end with uh, purnamada om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ धन्यवाद